someone who's more in the weight class, I feel like I need to make a statement so I can go beat that big fight. You know, because even though I beat her, that's the last time people saw me. So the last time I was on prime time, I fought an animal and I beat him. Convincing me. And, now, and, and like I said, if it wasn't for me beating her, where would her stand right now at the, at the top of that 54 division? He'd be at the top. You can't even say that. You can't even say that's a lie, because that's, that's facts. If her would have lost to me, he'd be the top dog right now. He'd be fighting Charles for all his best. So, I mean, I'm right there, man. I'm right there, you know, like I'm not going to quit. My team believes in me. Once my trainer looks at me in the face and he's like, you know what, man? I'm going to think, I don't know. Once I hear that from my trainer, then I'll be like, okay, you know what, maybe, maybe let's start looking at lane, another lane. But right now, man, my trainer believes in me. My trainer believes in me. The people that are really buying me believe in me. They know I can fight. All these fighters, a lot of these guys know me. We've known each other for years. They know I can fight. So like I said, I just got to get that another W that, that I need to get. And then I need to get that big fight with a former champion. And then I guarantee you I'll be fighting for a world title. Luis, um, Luis, for the audience, who are you going to be fighting next Saturday? Uh, I'm fighting uh, uh, the guy's name is Jimmy Williams. I think he's uh, 19 and seven, maybe 27, veteran guy. He's been fighting at 54 most of his career. You know, a solid guy. He's got a lot of rounds in him. You know, again, uh, off TV. You know, so but this guy is like I said, we're gonna go good. To, it's scheduled for 10. I feel like it's someone that I need to improve on. We made the improvements in the gym. I've been sparring a lot more rounds. I, I went from sparring Jesse Vargas. Get, helping him get ready, and then right into camp with Laura and the other guys over at Solid. And Solid's got nothing but world champions in and out of there. So, like I said, the, the, the work is there. You know, my trainer thinks I'm better now than I was for the hurt fight. So I just gotta go prove it. You know, the, the hard work is done. It's just time to just make the weight and, and shine next week. So, do we see you like here when you actually throw the duck? That was my idea. <laughs> Actually, I, I ordered, I ordered, I ordered on Amazon two bags. I got like 50 ducks for my kids. My kids got. Me. I was gonna throw like the whole bag full of ducks, but then you know I didn't want to walk with a bag and have a bag with me, so I just put like three or four in my in my pocket. But yeah, it was my idea, you know. Yeah, right. Were you surprised at his reaction? No. I mean, not really, but he, he did what he was supposed to do. You know what I mean? But shit, he lucky. He lucky I did that. No one even knew he was fighting. People were like, oh shit, you fight this weekend? So he really should be thanking me instead of being getting mad because it was because of what I did that I put his name out there. Shit, he went viral because of me. How really, how really are you to step in to say uh, the B side of a tuna fight for somebody like Honduras or Tim Blue or one of those, one Man, of those other I, guys I, that are up and coming that you may have to go through to get that title shot? That you I, I can't, a beggars can't be choosers, man. I can't sit up here and say that I want to pop dog and that I want to fight for a title. And then when they be like, okay, well, you can fight this guy. And then we start making. YSL Sports Media is the truth. You don't have to go nowhere and get all of your boxing news. We got it right here. No gossip, just boxing. YSL is always on topic. Hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing when I drop it. YSL Sports Media. YSL.